Hi everyone, how are you? Okay, so if you saw my first video that I did today, you know that I'm doing like a, a Hocus Pocus party today. I already showed you like all the decorations and everything that we're doing, but now it's time to think about the food. And girl, we found out this um, TikTok, which is basically kind of like a, ¿Cómo se llama eso? Charcuterie charcuterie whatever you know one of those things that has like cheeses and all of that so we're gonna be doing the same and it's going to be like Hocus Pocus inspired so I thought you know what I'm gonna do a video so I can show you guys how it's done and maybe you can do it at your house because it's actually it's super easy so whew, girl the first thing is we're gonna get some brie or camembert cheese, wherever you can find. The brie is cheaper. Camembert is a little bit more expensive, but a brie is cheaper. You can find it literally on any store. Okay, and we're gonna take the whole cheese. So this is not gonna be like fast like TikTok, okay? Like, so you have to be with me while I'm doing the whole thing. I'm opening the cheese. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so as you see, like this is the cheese, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it in half, but like horizontal, you know? So like it's going to be like two sides. So we need like a big knife, a big knife, right? And then we're just gonna cut it here, see? So let me just like, kind of like show you guys. Right. So we're gonna cut it. All the way, go slow because you can't like mess the cheese. All right, see? And then you're gonna like open it. Be careful guys because this cheese is very creamy in the middle so it can easily, I don't know if you can see this but it's very creamy in the middle, okay? So we do not want to destroy the thing. As you destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, got it. See, we have two pieces. Now these are going to be the faces. Yeah. And then we're gonna do the same with the other one. So how are you guys? Leave me all, all, all of your comments. Tell me what you guys are doing for this October. Okay, we're gonna open it and we're gonna, we only need three. So of course we're gonna get four. So we're gonna save the other part and you can like use it later as part of the table also. But same thing, you know, you're gonna cut it. Cut it, oh my God, it smells so good. And you, the cream, it's so amazing. Look at this, okay? So we're gonna save this other part for later, all right? So yeah, somewhere. So now, what can I show you? Let me reposition the camera. Here, right? So we're gonna put the three here, and these are going to be our faces, all right? Now, this is Hocus Pocus, so if you remember the movie, we have the three witches, so we're gonna be doing Sarah, Winifred, and Mary, okay? 
So the next step is that we're gonna be creating the head, the hair. So for Mary, I'm actually gonna be using a little bit of uh, blackberries and raspberry, right? To create like that hairstyle. So you need to get a little bit creative and just like put it like around, right? So, because the idea is to create like those pieces of like red, so we're gonna be putting like some of them. So it kind of like blend with the whole thing. Remember that she has kind of like a two purples, like, and her hair has like a curve. So we're definitely gonna be trying to do the same thing and we're gonna be using, you know, both colors. See? I don't know if you can st like starting to see the actual form of the hair, right? And I think we're gonna put another raspberry here, maybe, and then a couple of blueberries here, and then one extra blueberry over here just to be like on the top, and then we can put some more of these ones here. See? I don't know if you can see kind of like the form that we're trying to get over here, okay? And a little bit over here, and a little bit over here, okay? So that's it for Mary. Girl, our table is going to be the talk of the town. Like all of the kids are gonna be jealous of us. So now, for Winifred, her hair is actually red, right? So because this is a charcuterie board and we want to use cheeses and ham, I actually decided to, decided to buy some pepperoni, okay? Pepper, pepper, pep, pepperoncini, or pepper, oh no, this pepperoni, never mind. We are not international today. So what we're gonna do for Winifred is this. We're gonna take the ham, the little pepperoni, right? And then you're gonna take like the little pieces of ham, right? I'm gonna do it over here so you can sleep better. And we're gonna like roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and then put it like this. See? And then you're gonna put it over here. And then we're gonna create the whole hair. She has, I don't know if you remember, but her hair is kind of like have like two points. So, two points. So that's the whole idea. So we're gonna do the same. This is gonna take a little bit, so just bear with me. And See, we're gonna just put like, like put it in over here. And just keep going and going. It might be a little bit annoying, I know, because it's long and you're gonna have to do a lot of them, okay? Another angle so you can see how now we have our Mary and our Winifred. Now it is time to do our Sara. So for Sara, you have two options. I'm gonna go with what is mine. You can use mild cheddar or you can use bananas. All right. So I'm gonna use mild cheddar. So in this case, I'm gonna cut this this whole thing of cheese on little like squares. Okay. Guys, I got this at the 99 cent store, okay? It's like super cheap.
<laughs> so what we're gonna do is gonna cut this whole thing on little squares, okay? Also, I'm gonna cut it in half first. So we're gonna use our, like, all this. And actually, here. Increíble, el dios esto. Dos veces y por una Do the little squares, guys. Okay, now we're gonna use this to create Sarah's hair. Okay, she has long hair. Wow, and that's so fucking cool. Okay, and it's kind of like to the side so for this one it's gonna go over here you know and you want to create like the little the form a little bit of the hair and then you put the rest on top of it see And then you just put the rest on top of it, you know, just to like feel it more and more and you can like, she has like a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, a little bit of hair on top of her head, you know, like this, so we definitely, I think we did, oh um, maybe not. Then you have the three of them. Wow. See, you have Mary, Winifred, and Sarah. Wow. Now we're gonna move on into the dresses, okay, guys? And this is a little bit tricky because there are so many colors. I'm trying to go just to like the 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 main color. Like Winifred is green, and Mary is. So for Winifred's, we're gonna use green grapes. And we're just gonna put it like down, you know, like the whole idea, like, of course, it's not gonna look just like the movie, but they you get the idea, like, people just gonna get the idea. So just put like little grapes. Oh, so <laughs>
Casi matas a Mateo Andrés. Okay guys, so now we finished with Winnie Fred and now we're gonna go with uh, Sara that his dress is like red. So Mary is red and Sarah is purple, okay? So now we're gonna do Mary and for Mary we're gonna use some strawberries, okay? Now we finish with Mary, Winifred, and now we're gonna go with Sarah, and we're gonna be using pink marshmallows to get her. <laughs> if you can find purple, it's better, but it is what it is. Then what if we dye them? No, it's okay. Venga, 
Now, we're gonna add a little bit of Halloween magic and we're gonna create some little brooms. There you go. So for the brooms, we're gonna get Reese cups. Reese, whatever. No, Mateo. These are my favorite candies, guys. Not that you asked or cared. There you have it guys. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this was helpful to you. You can do this table for like whatever. Let me show you like honestly the final product because it's not just the 
charcuterie table. The whole idea is to do like a fondue. So we have here like the chocolate for the fondue. We have little trick or treats, little boxes, more marshmallows, banana, fruit. Here is our beautiful hocus pocus table, some cupcakes. Girl, we are ready to host this party. So let me know if this was helpful to you, okay? And uh, what do you think? And if you did it, don't forget to send me pictures of your tables. You can send it to uh, follow me on my Instagram, not the real Andy, because that's for Bravo, on my personal Instagram, Andy.Shademan. I think the link is in the description of this video, okay? So, yeah, it's time for some, some hocus pocus. Bye!